All right, Shalom, Akim, all praise, his honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, or Kakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to you, fellow Akim, out there pushing out this word in true sincerity. Okay, so I'm doing another in transit video, uh, in transit lesson, and I want to make this video short. Uh, and I just want to speak about an alert that I got on my phone uh, this morning. You know, in a city that I'm in, where there was a, a measles outbreak at a grocery store. That a, a grocery store that I go to, you know, there's a grocery store that sells, that's famous for selling like organic, you know, uh, you know, fresh organic, uh, you know, produce. You know, it's like on a kind of like a like a Whole Foods that's out here in the neighborhood that I'm at, and basically there was a measles outbreak. You know, there was somebody that uh, was infected by the measles that actually went to that grocery store. And there was an alert to, to notify, you know, basically that, you know, you can possibly be infected, you know, if you went last week, which, you know, I might go maybe twice a week. You know, me and the elder brother, we went the other day, you know, to pick up something. But that goes to show you how uh, these diseases are spreading. Now, whether this was a, a, a so-called false flag or false information, or this was an actual viable, uh, reliable, you know, case of the measles, it just goes to show you that these different medieval d diseases are coming back, you know, and, and they're coming back to, uh, you know, take a lot of people out, you know, because we're in the last days, and this was, uh, you know, prophesied in the scriptures, how there should be pestilences, and all a pestilence is, is a disease, okay, so you're going to have people that are going to catch these, you know, so-called uh, incurable diseases, or these diseases that are you know, resistant to modern antibiotics. And, and that's going to spark uh, all type of chaos, you know, in the world. In which, uh, you know, you're going to have a lot of people dying. It's going to push push more people into trusting the government. Because the government is going to say, hey, look, we're working on the vaccine. We have a vaccine. All you have to do is take this chip. Or all you have to do is, you know, certain things that you have to do to pretty much... Uh, you know, pretty much agree with Esau in order to get this, you know, assigned papers, and then ultimately, like I was speaking, it's the RFID microchip. Let me bring out a scripture. You know, I said earlier I wasn't going to make this long. I just want to hit the point, and, uh, you know, these are, they're, they're isolated instances where, you know, these diseases are, you know, springing up in these different cities. Now, I, I wouldn't have known this. It was It was a very small story. So if this could turn out to be something big, okay, which ultimately there are going to be uh, diseases that are going to, you know, spread at, at, like, in a, like an uh, epidemic or a pandemic, you know, which is going to, you know, catch a lot of people by surprise, okay? So th this might necessarily, this instance might necessarily, uh, 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 you know, do anything, so to speak, yet we do still cover these things all right and to, to let you know that these things will come and, and this is just another instance okay of you know the lord you know put putting things out in the planet earth as signs okay signs that they're going to be massive diseases okay um uh in in the united states like like never before okay incurable this is a uh, second ezra 15 and five, it says, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. Okay? So the Lord, Yahweh Shai, he's going to bring plagues upon this world. Okay? Okay, and, and the epicenter of all these plagues is going to be here in America. Because America is going to receive the greatest judgment, okay, uh, ever written and ever uh, known. Okay, and that judgment is, is creeping up on you Americans. Okay, it's harder for you Americans to, to live. You know the dot the, the buying power of the dollar is, is pretty much crumbling okay gas uh, gas out here in uh, the Bay Area has reached the highest in the world okay so this place is already expensive to live in or right, the homeless population within the last two years has already increased 40% so what about diseases on top of that which the homeless uh, population you know is riddled with all type of diseases uh, typhus uh, shingles, uh, measles, 
okay, uh, the bubonic plague, was that wiped out, you know, they say estimate to 80 to 200 million during the time of the Middle Ages, okay, so something similar to that can happen, okay, right here in America, and that is written about, uh, okay, and spoken about uh, in the scriptures, it says, behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, so these plagues that are going to be uh, brought upon the world, they're going to be for, uh, you know, you know, destruction, destruction of you, you wicked people on the planet Earth, you wicked people here in, in Babylon. Okay, it's going to take a lot of uh, you Jakes by surprise. It's going to take, you know, a lot of you Edomites by surprise. Okay, you heathens, all right, and it's not going to touch. Okay, none of uh, the the heavenly fathers of uh, men. Let me uh. Let me let me read a little bit more. I want, to, I want to jump down to verse 14. Uh, it says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Now, woe means, you know, uh, basically destruction, uh, sorrows, calamities. So, uh, woe is destruction, calamities are coming uh, to the world. Okay? Uh, throughout the whole planet world. Now, America is going to receive the greatest judgment. Which they're going to receive that ultimate plague. Uh, which that ultimate plague, that noise, that noise and pestilence, as the scriptures speak about, those are those 200 million missiles, nuclear missiles, okay, which it might not be 200 actually missiles, so to speak, it's 200 million warheads, because a missile, ICBM, an intercontinental ballistic missile, can hold multiple warheads, it can hold 10, 20 warheads, okay, so it says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw of nigh. Okay, and and that sword uh, also consists of these different diseases that are going to be plaguing the planet Earth. And one people, uh, it says, for the sword and the destruction draw up nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. So on top of diseases, on top of food shortages, famines, okay, and on top of natural disasters and the, and the government going against you are you going to have the people going against each other the people going against uh the government are you going to have race wars uh, let me bring out another scripture you know because these things are going to you know touch the whole planet earth and you have different parts of the world that actually have diseases and uh, pestilences okay uh out there in west africa uh ebola which those are all fabricated by the so-called white man which he's going to do the same thing today. Or he's going to release these different uh, mosquitoes. Which these things are all on the books. These different mosquitoes that actually have the virus. Okay, they're going to be biting people. All right, uh, you, 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 uh, these rats. These rats carry diseases. And that's a plague. Okay. And here in the Bay Area is riddled with rats. Okay. You, 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 you go in the, you know, towards the evening. You go in some of these neighborhoods. Are right, it's rats everywhere. San Francisco, it's rats. Berkeley, it's rats. And that is that is a plague. And those rats, they carry uh, diseases. Okay, I want to bring out another scripture. Just bear with me one second. This is a. Uh, Joel 5 and, and and 19, he delivereth thee in six troubles, yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. That seven, that ultimate seventh trouble, okay, is speaking about uh, the thermonuclear missiles, which we continue to speak about those things, okay? Pretty much every video that we speak about, uh, whether it be uh, a video exhor exhorting uh, the, the Akim, okay, going into different uh, articles. Okay, uh, going to the uh, you know the so-called white man who he is, even going into who we are, the Israelites, we speak about the destruction of America. Okay, because the destruction of America, that's the that's it. Okay, after the destruction of America, okay, the the, the children of Israel are going to be reign supreme on the planet Earth. Okay, there's going to be a new government. Okay, there's going to be uh, you know a new earth and new heavens, as the scriptures speak about, meaning the earth and the um, the heaven, meaning the the rulership of the earth is going to be renewed. Okay, in famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, 
neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. So when destruction cometh in a form of diseases, in a form of the sword, okay, you're gonna have Esau with these different military factions, okay, these different government factions that are gonna have, you know, uh, power to, uh, you know, subdue and, and arrest people, and, you know, and lock people up in concentration cramp camps, okay, detention centers. Are, we're, we're not gonna be afraid of none of those things, and none of those things are gonna touch the elect. Now, you are gonna have the, the elect that are gonna be martyrs. Some of the elect are gonna be martyrs. Some of the elect are going to be uh, thrown in these detention centers. But when you go into the book of Revelation, if I'm not mistaken, the third chapter, or it's either the second chapter, You know, I believe the second chapter. You might uh, uh, going in jail for three three days. The, the devil shall lock you in prison for three days. But let me just uh, confirm that, and we'll bring it out. Yep, uh, Revelation two and ten. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. So yeah, we're gonna suffer. Uh, you know things. Uh, that are going to happen on the planet earth yet they're not going to destroy us you know the lord he's going to give us give us the ability to escape from those things how, how, how is it going to happen i don't know but that's where the trust and the faith in yahweh shamasha is going to uh kick in and the lord is going to show you uh you know and guide you into the right direction to be delivered fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer behold the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried so really going into prison or being caught uh by the government you know these different factions going into a detention center that is uh the, for your, your trial of your faith you know each man has their own portion uh, uh you know of the cross that they have to bear and, and some men are going to have to get thrown in prison but it, it tells us not to you know not to be afraid of any of those things it says that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown unto life. So you, so sometimes you might even be, uh, you know, the opportunity might present itself, okay, to where you, there's a life and death situation. Or you have to be faithful unto death and not, you know, or, or I should say keep your integrity. Not take the chip, not bow down to uh, Esau. Okay, and the Lord, he's going to give you a crown of life. And he's going to do that for his elect. But all those that don't have that mark that Thawa uh, spoken about in uh, Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, you're going to get caught up in all those things. Okay, you're going to get caught up with those diseases. Okay, you're going to be quarantined. There's There's been in the news lately, um, you know, this thing about quarantining people. Okay, because if there was a, a disease, okay, say in a grocery store, all right, and they, and they identify, okay, they're, they're, somebody has a disease here. They can quarantine the whole uh, grocery store. They, they don't have to let anybody out. Okay, with fears of that actually spreading uh, throughout the planet Earth. Spreading uh, throughout the, the city or, or the county, the city, uh, the state, and, and abroad. Okay, because everybody's going to, you, you're, you're freely, you can freely move from, you know, a one state to another. All right, say somebody caught it here. All right, they get in a plane. Okay, and and they're uh, they get in a plane with people from all over the United States, all over the world. Just that alone, coming in contact with that person, that can start catastrophic uh, destruction, devastation. So that's what's that's what's coming to, you know, America. That's what's coming to the whole planet Earth. So I'm back in Job, and we're gonna just finish it up. Uh, verse 20, it says, "In famine he shall redeem thee from death." And in war from the power of the sword, thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. So when all these things happen, okay, when destruction comes, when famine comes, when pestilence comes, okay, we're going to be hid from all those things. All right, we're going to laugh at all those things. We're going to see these things happen. And the Lord, he's going to laugh through us. All right. And we're going to be a, a joyful heart or uh, while you people are going to be suffering. So, you know, that's that's all I wanted to go into just real quickly. Uh, Lord's will in a post-production, I can put up the article. If I remember, I put up the article of, you know, that outbreak. So, you you, you know, just keep tuning in, you know, keep uh, watching, keep praying, you know, uh, fasting if necessary. You know, keep your faith. Keep uh, believing in Yahweh Shemal Shai. 
okay and, and, and do the work so with that i want to say shalom to the elect